Are you struggling to get healthy or lose weight, but keep falling short and not reaching your goal or sticking to your plan? Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you some mindset techniques that you can try that will help you reach your goals. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So in today's video, I wanna share with you a few techniques that can be applied to anything overall, but especially to if you're trying to hit your health goals. So the first thing I wanna talk about is to be good at something and to reach your goals, you really need to become a master. Many people are actually a dabbler, meaning like they try a little bit of this, they try a little bit of that, but there's no consistency to what they're doing. But in order to master a skill, regardless of what that is, even in just being healthy, you have to have consistency. Any kind of master of any kind of area has consistency in everything they do with that area of expertise. So another key concept involved in this is focus. So being really focused on what it is that you're doing can really enhance this skill of mastering something. So be sure that you have consistency in the things that you do, focus, and also follow up and follow through. Make sure that you're following through with the goals that you're trying to reach. And this especially applies in daily habits. You just have to keep doing them over and over again and keep following through with things and you will get better over time. Now, sometimes this means that you have to get outside of your comfort zone, okay? So it's not easy sometimes to lose weight. It's not easy to get healthy. Sometimes you have to restrict foods that you don't wanna eat or you have to eat foods that you're not really wanting to eat. So it requires, you know, getting outside of your comfort zone. But anytime you wanna master a skill, this is what's required. You have enough knowledge, believe me, everyone has enough knowledge to get healthy overall. You just have to continue with the consistency and focus. That's the number one thing. Okay, so next is sometimes looking at the big picture and having a wider perspective or having a purpose for why it is you're doing what you're doing. For some people, this could mean that they have uh, they got a diagnosis of a serious illness. So therefore now they're very motivated to do something because of this. Now that doesn't apply to anyone because I, I know plenty of people who've been diagnosed with horrible diseases and they don't do anything to make any kind of change. They just sort of go along with you know, what they were doing before and hope for the best with, um, with Western medicine. Uh, and, and sometimes that works and sometimes that doesn't. So sometimes just looking at the big picture and realizing that what are the consequences if I don't change, what are the consequences of this illness if I don't start doing healthier things. So I know for me that really, that really made a big difference. Uh, in my early 20s, I was clinically depressed, had really serious digestive issues, and I was in a downward spiral. And I eventually realized that if I don't do something about this, the consequences could be very severe. So that's what I did. I, I totally changed my mindset. I changed my daily habits and the rest is history. And that's why I'm here with you today. So sometimes just looking at the broader picture can be really important too. So now back to a practical skill, organization. Organization is really important. Um, in getting you to have your daily habits become part of your life and your routine. So when I say organize, I mean like as far as food goes, plan out your meals, have meal plans, figure out what it is you're gonna eat on a day-to-day -day basis, make shopping lists and have it all lined up for you. They have all kinds of services now out there that you can uh, have the food delivered and then you just prepare it. So there's a lot of things that you could do organization-wise. Okay, you also can plan your workouts. You can also buy some kind of tracking device that will keep you organized as far as either the workouts or the food or uh, if you're counting your, your nutrients and you're counting your macros, there's all kinds of organization and tracking devices that you can use as well to keep you motivated, to keep you on board. If you're the type of person that is kind of all over the place, maybe just getting a little bit more organized can do wonders for you. Okay, so next, training. So even though I said before, you already know enough, you do, you know enough, you know enough just to get healthy, that's for sure. But maybe you should get some mindset training from masters that have mastered the whole entire skill of, of the mindset and how to get good at something. So for me, not only have I studied nutrition and health my whole life, basically, I've also done lots of trainings with masters such as Tony Robbins or Wayne Dyer and people in, in this kind of realm that just teach you how to 
you know, really be good at something and push through and get to your goal. So nowadays there's a million gurus out there. There's lots of free information. There's lots of free trainings, books you can read, video courses that you can take. So maybe getting into that and, you know, learning from the masters and then applying that to your health goals could make a really big difference. Now, something on a day to day basis that you can do for the mindset is meditation. But on this one, because everyone talks about meditation, mindfulness, just keep it simple. I think when people who aren't meditating hear the word meditation, they get very confused. They think, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to get started. It sounds like it takes too much time and they're making it more complicated than it is. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can literally just take 10 to 15 minutes out of your day and just sit quietly somewhere and watch your mind and just do nothing. You don't have to have to have a mantra. You don't have to be think of anything. You don't have to stop thinking. Just be there and listen and, and hear what is going on in your mind. And sometimes interesting things happen when you just take that quiet time. Sometimes you'll get ideas that you didn't have before. Your creativity will be sparked or you'll just feel more relaxed and more centered and more focused on the things that you really want to do because you took that little bit of time to just do nothing and just see where the mind is going to roam. So for me, when I meditate, I don't do anything special. I just do my own thing. Basically, I don't label it as anything. I just take time and be still and, and just observe my mind and it works really, really well. All this stuff is kind of very serious and you know, you want to be serious when you want to get healthy and all that, but on the other hand, it's all about balance too. So you want to make sure you're incorporating fun and joy into your life too, because that can keep things not always so serious and, and keep your, your life just a little bit more balanced. Because if you're too serious all the time, not having enough fun, that kind of throws everything off. So, you know, make sure you're, you know, even though you're doing the, the daily things, your habits, your, your morning rituals, maybe once a week you have a cheat meal or maybe once a week, you do something that you wouldn't normally do so that you don't feel like you're always being serious all the time. Uh, last but not least. So this one's really important as far as a concept goes in order to have a healthy mind, you need to have a healthy body. It's not the other way around. So you're, if you, once you start getting healthier and applying the concepts that you've learned, eating better, working out, taking your supplements, doing all the things, lifestyle factors as well, your body is going to get healthy no matter what. And therefore your mind is going to get healthy. Meaning if you were suffering from depression, anxiety, those kinds of things as your body gets better, so will your mind and that will make all of these things in a lot easier. The goals that you're trying to reach will become easier because now your mind will be more clear. Your mind will have more focus because you've been working on your body. So that's the main thing I want you to remember is that healthy mind comes from having a healthy body. So make sure that you really are putting a lot of effort into getting healthy in within your body so that your mind can be too. And then you'll see how everything sort of just explodes for you. And then you have both, and then you can accomplish anything that you want besides just getting healthy. Then you can start applying this to every other aspect of your life. Okay, guys, I've said enough. That was a pretty long video. Please let me know in the comments what you thought. If you have any ideas for further videos and tell me what it is that you do to stay on track, to reach your health goals. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.